Okay, there have now been 135 cases confirmed of the coronavirus aboard this cruise ship we've been talking about for yes. a week now. Uh, a Utah couple, now two Utah couples that we've talked to, they're quarantined. Um, the Jorgensen's from St. George, we're closely in touch with them. Yeah. They keep sending us videos, which we've asked for, just to see what their life looks like. Day four of the cruise quarantine, they actually got a day out in the sunshine. Um, they had an hour, they call it rec time, out on the deck, fresh yeah, air. All excited, <laughs> except they still have to wear those masks. They do, so and gloves, right. Um, <laughs> but there was a small group of them that got to go up at a certain time, and it sounds like they were doing this in, in groups. And they actually told people, you know, be very careful, don't be, they have the gloves on and the mask on, right. uh, be careful. Also day, let's see, we're on, it's 16 hours ahead, so it's kind of hard to, to keep track. Right. But We'd be on, I think, day seven today. But they also sent us um, videos throughout the weekend, day six of the quarantine. Here's what it looked like. Okay, day six. Uh, just hanging out, doing our thing. Lunch just came. There's Jerry. Wave, Jerry. Oh, hi. Potato Ooh, salad. Potato salad. And salmon. we have yummy salmon and vegetables. And, and a dessert. And berry cobbler of some sort. So they're, they're actually feeding us really well. This stuff's been great once they kind of got their legs under them and got going. There we have clothes hanging. We did laundry last night because we obviously don't have access to laundry. Although they did let us send out some laundry, but it's gonna take a couple days to get it back. So we just washed a few things in the sink and we just got it hanging all over the place here. And uh, nice sunny day here in Yokohama. The ambulances are still out, parked and ready to go, but nothing's going on here. Oh, earlier they were unloading, they had these, these medical trucks down here, military looking things. I think they've got meds in them because they're trying to get medications organized for people that don't have them and get it all uh, organized and delivered to everybody that needs them. So there's nothing going on as far as the entrance. This guy's bringing something in. But anyway, going good. And there's the media. Still out there doing their thing. Okay, that's all for now. Keeping their distance. Right, we'll right. Away from the ship. For sure. <laughs> but it's kind of interesting to see. Yeah, they are being oh goodness, treated yeah. very well. Um, they did talk about, if you heard there, um, so a lot of cases of, of coronavirus, but there are some patients on there that have other health issues that needed to be transported off. Oh, yeah. um, so it kind of just begs the question, so they can, you know, leave the ship. What right, circumstance, yeah. you know, would you be under to be able to leave that ship? Yeah. Um, really interesting stuff. They also told us that Princess Cruise Line, um, it's owned by Carnival. Mm -hmm. It's the Diamond Princess that they're on. They actually will be refunding every single passenger on that cruise, full refund, and they're going to be giving them a free cruise in the near hey. future um, with equal value. But Hopefully not too near. Right, right. So I think a, a lot of people are probably bad taste in their mouth with cruise ships um, right. with this experience. But at least, you know, the, the cruise company is trying and, you know, yeah. trying to make things better, trying to make things right. So oh, they're man. staying very, very what positive. A trip. Yeah, for they sure, are. For sure. Yeah. For sure.